In this complete exercise, you'll be following and doing a step-by-step -step process for remote valve setup on the new AFS Connect Magnum tractors. The process will include the use or discussion of encoder, hydraulic remotes, EHR shortcut, and the AFS Pro 1200 display. On the initial startup, the armrest configuration screen will come up on the AFS Pro 1200 display. The operator must select one of the following. OK, which means the operator accepts what is already set up on the tractor. Edit allows the operator to make changes to the setup. Here the operator can change which paddle will operate the selected rear remote valve. Default to change the tractor settings to the preset settings. Now to begin the exercise, touch the arrow and menu icon on the top toolbar, and then tractor card, and then touch the armrest wizard, and the hydraulic remote screen will be displayed. Exercise Scenario You'll be configuring the tractor for the operators. One of the tractor operators may want the remote paddle closest to the multifunction handle to raise and lower the implement, while the second tractor operator prefers to use the remote paddle furthest from the multifunction handle to raise and lower the implement. To reconfigure the paddles to the operator's preference, select the EHRA, the red colored paddle, and reassign it to EHRD, and reassign EHRD, the green colored paddle, to EHRA. This is now configured to the likings of a new operator of the tractor. Note All multifunction handle and armrest buttons can be reconfigured to the likings of the new operator. Now let's set the timers and the flow of the remote. First, Select the remote wizard on the right side of the screen, and the tractor remote screen will be shown. Select the rear remote valves, the plus sign, and all the remotes will show on the screen. Now select a remote. In this example, remote number 1 was selected to change the time and flow. Touch any place on the first remote area, and the flow and timer screen will populate. Now adjust the length of time the flow speed of the implement will raise and lower, or extend and retract. Simply slide the bar to increase or decrease the flow. Now let's set the timer by sliding the bar to increase or decrease the time the remote will be on demand to raise or lower, or extend and retract the implement when the paddle is depressed. To finish the process, scroll up to where the lock, timer, and motor mode are located, and touch the timer area to turn the timer on. Note, the remote screen can also be located by using the encoder and shortcut button. Let's complete a step-by-step -step process for motor valve operation on the AFS Connect Magnum tractors. Determine which valve you want to utilize. Normally, the operator elects to use a valve to the far right or away from the normal operation of the tractor or implement. On the screen, go to the remote valve selected. You can get to this location by using the shortcut button, the encoder, or the remote valve wizard on the AFS Pro 1200 screen. Place the selected control valve paddle into the float position. For initial hookup of an implement, and for this demonstration, the retract flow for the selected valve is dialed down low. This is done to prevent damage to the system being coupled if connecting improperly. In the day-to-day -day operation, this step can be aborted. Activate the Motor Run button. Note: You don't need to change the timers, set flow to continuous, or perform any other function. Move the paddle out of the float position. The handle will center itself. Press the paddle forward to the detent and release the handle. You are operating in the motor run position. Also note the EHR symbol on the A post. Set the tractor RPM to the minimum RPM selection for the application. Dial up the flow at the minimum engine RPM that will be utilized for the operation. Note. 
The flow setting is only to give you the pressure, vacuum, and the speed needed for your operation. To turn off the system, simply move the paddle in either direction. This will deactivate the motor run position. Going back to the normal lower position will reactivate the motor function. To prevent from accidentally deactivating the motor function, lock the paddle by pushing down on the paddle. The handle will be rigid, and to turn off the motor function, pull up on the handle, and it will be unlocked.